Oh, no, no, no. there and we'll leave an extra on the necessary provinces. I think someone's already going to Samara. Duverin. <coughs> and there we go. I'll just give in to these rebel demands. It's only prestige. And the income of one paltry province. Two base tax dealing in wool. Okay, Shun's dealing with that for me. I can dismiss these expensive mercs. And keep that piety high, perhaps? Maybe there's a thought. Do they have extremely high piety? Fairly high. Vassal is keen on taking Bayuli. I have no intention of uh, wasting my manpower there. Nice to get a bit of dosh for a change. And when I occupy Samara, I'll get their gold income as well. Oh, yes, some gold. Nine base tax, Tartar, Sunni, gold. It is part of a problem, though. I don't want Muscovy to get Kazan. And Muscovy will probably go for Kazan. So do I stick a guarantee on Kazan once all's said and done? How's Shun looking, Jake? Shun's looking pretty not bad. Did I get rid did I get rid of those uh Confucians? Ah must have good of them to actually put harsh treatment on the place they're trying to convert this time. It's going to go fairly quickly. Mm, Muscovy, what are you on the move for? Please subjugate the Crimea. I would love that. Just Ottomans, Mamluks, and Crimea coming down on you like a ton of bricks. So in roughly 10 years, I'll have Tech 12. That should prove sufficient to destroy Muscovy. I'll be able to return Siberian cores. Just prestige. There goes my loot income. Right, what do I even want out of you? <laughs> I can s no, I can't straight up annex you. But I will be vassalizing you. Oh, I can straight up annex you. And then I could release you, and you would love me. Do I want to annex and release, or just vassalize? What would be the difference? Annexing you. No diplo cost. 10, 3, and 2. Vassalizing you. A bit more. So I'm actually better off releasing you. Well, whatever. But do I want more out of you? Specifically, Samara. If I take Samara, 
Yeah, I'm gonna take Samara. That gold man, I can't say no to it. It's like saying no to the queen. You can't do that. Jake, does Siberia still have loads of cores on you? Great thinking. Okay, they have two. So I'll annex them. Thanks for that. Alright, Samara is down. If I do this, 42, 40, 39. So Timmy certainly won't like it. But Timmy is hostile. He may join the coalition, but... I got good relations with Crimea, so they won't. Kazan might... But that's okay. I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. Kara, they're too far away, they won't care. So really, Kazan and Timur might join the coalition because of this, but that's the extent of it. I get 10 prestige out of it all, which is nice. Gold income, yeah, five ducats from Samara, that's what we're needing. It increases our inflation by 0.15 per year, yeah. If we remember from our Genoa game, more inflation means we make more money. Oh, what's this? Crimea is going for Siberia. And, uh, okay. All the more reason. If I vassalize Siberia, that's going to pull, pull me into the war with Crimea. Whereas if I annex and release them, all I lose is that one province. Okay, and that one, but that one province. I don't think I can concern myself with that too much. I think I would annex and release them in that case. Hmm. You can't let Muscovy get that Samar and Gold Jake Iron. I agree. Can you think of any disadvantages to me just taking and annexing Siberia that I can't see here? I'm going to lose these two provinces. One isn't my core. I wanted to lose it anyway. This one is my core. Two base stacks dealing in wool. It won't really be missed. It'll only cost me 30 dip to reintegrate. Plus it's got these annoying nationalists for three more years. But it means I don't get roped into this war with Crimea. However, maybe I should be at war with Crimea. Pardon me. I got a lot of golden horde land. Ah, but I need to be at peace for a wee while so I can integrate Shagatai and all that. No, we're going to value stability over everything else here. Let's take this. Uh, and what about this? No, I, it's not worth the, uh, the aggressive expansion. Or is it? Certainly not. Okay, looks good. So straight off the bat, we've got 120 over extension. So we shall create Siberia. Cores are plenty on Muscovy, I look forward to it. But what is more, we are going to create Nagai. Okay, so Crimea don't like me very much. They could still join that coalition against me. Well, let them try. Okay, I'm going to need a couple of free... Uh, free... Ah, that's not so hot. So whenever you release a horde, they instantly get tribal succession crisis or some kind of pretender. That's not good. Okay, so I need to integrate Shagatai, get rid of these rebs, and stuff. 
Now I can't core Samara because it's overseas. Even though it's adjacent to a vassal. Who is also adjacent to a vassal. So let's get rid of these guys first. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, that is excellent. Why nurture though? It was almost done anyway. Do we call Canny on the uh, colonists just to get a bit more money? I'm not sure. Rebels gone. Jake release Golden Horde. Mm, no. I mean, we're trying to say that we're better than the Golden Horde. What would it be saying if, you know, we brought them back into an existence? Wouldn't be saying anything good, I tell you that. I tell you what. My army is far too small, though. Uh, yeah, far too small. As usual, it needs more horses. Yeah, take me up to 13,000 horses should be good. But 14,000 horses would be better. Now, it's going to hurt our relations with the rest of our vassals, but it's high time Chagatai fusioned with me. We still have truce with you, unfortunately. Tartar Patriots loyal to, yeah, Kazan. NCA Project says, is this still my first attempt? Indeed it is. Also, I've got a new sub, Cowman Cowie. Long time ago, I knew a guy called Cowie. That's about as far as I can go with that. Alright, so I'll either destroy you or not destroy you. Such a difficult choice. Oh, if my horse is already, I'll gladly put them to the test here. Now, I should really soften up Crimea so they don't join that coalition against me. Especially if we start having a border of some sort. This f the first attempt was going really, really terrible. Congratulations on the turnaround. Hey, listen, I only do my best when I'm as small and pitiful as I can be. Uh, my only regret was I didn't turn into a one-province miner. I just had to make do with two provinces. Good old autosave bug. It isn't a Jake stream if it doesn't turn up at least once. I wish I had another story like the uh, the America t-shirt that I could share. Well, maybe I'll wear it when I do my, uh, my dance mat stream, which should be coming up in a few days or so. Hakairu says, well, Jake, gotta go. Wish you good luck, or whatever it is you need. Hmm. 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 Who needs luck? Alright, there we go. Timmy, our truce is until another four years. Ming, it's for another two years. Manchu, I'm not very interested in you. Now we're losing money even with one colony. Because our army maintenance is so high thanks to all these... Uh, Horses. Well, so be it. You know what? 
all things considered, I'm going to let them win. 